Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brianna and here on my channel I basically give you guys a glimpse of going from a part-time realtor to a full-time realtor. If this is something that you are interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Okay, so in my previous video, I told you guys that I am a realtor with Keller Williams. I spoke briefly about the commission splits between uh, myself and my brokerage. However, I didn't really get to go into super deep detail because I was running out of time, but I am back here. And as promised, I'm going to tell you guys the commission split fees for my brokerage. I don't know if these are the same fees for all Keller William offices, but I know for mines, this is what we have to pay as a realtor. Okay, so when you first join, you have to pay $250. And basically this will set up all your emails, pay for your business card, basically just get you set up in their system and you have access to command and so forth. That also includes the office fee, which is $75 a month. Um, along with that, you also have to pay dues, but that's not necessarily through Keller Williams. That's just a fee that all new realtors have to pay when they join and it's also an, an annual fee that realtors have to join to basically still do business starting out you will have to pay a lot of money so save up for we it. have the general commission splits which is 80 20 so they get 20 percent i get 80 percent However, there are a lot more fees associated with the commissions, especially as a new realtor agent. So if you see me looking over, I have my laptop here with all of the fees because it can get kind of confusing and I wrote everything in my notes. Um, I do remember them, but I just wanna make sure that I don't forget like anything or leave anything out. Of course you have your, um, your 80% and then the remaining 20% goes to your assigned broker, basically the lead broker of the whole office. And then you have your associate broker. Um, let's just say in two years, I wanted to go for my, um, I've been in the business for two years, I can go for my broker's license. And then when I do that, I become a broker associate instead of a, um, a salesperson. My assigned associated broker, um, I honestly, if I had to guess, it would be my mentor. But if you saw my previous video, you would see why I would even guess that is because I wasn't actually like assigned my own broker, if that makes sense. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and watch the previous video. Once you reach $16,000 for the year, you no longer have to pay that 20% to your associated broker. Technically, yes, you get the full 100%, but then again, no, you don't. As a realtor, you don't get that. You have to pay some other fees and we will get into that right now. On top of the 20% commission, you also have to pay the 6% Keller Williams royalty fee. Um, so you have to pay that on top of the 20% commission that goes to your associated broker. Um, but there is a cap for that as well. There's a cap for everything. So once you cap at 16,000, you, know you no longer have to pay your associated broker. Um, with the the Keller Williams Associated or the Keller Williams royalty fee, once you cap at 3,000 for the year, you don't have to pay that either. That is basically assuming that you have not capped with your associated broker, if that makes sense. Um, my specific office requires all agents who have completed less than three transactions in their real estate career to be a part of their productivity and mentor program. So if you're a brand new agent, you have to, it's required for you to be a part of this program. But if you are, um, if you are not a, a brand new real estate agent and you have been in the industry for quite some time and you have closed on a lot of listings, then you don't have to join this program. But um, you do graduate out of this program. So let's just get into the fees for that too, because you do have to pay a percentage of your commission for that too. So on top of the 20% that goes to your broker, on top of the 6% that goes to the Keller Williams franchise, you also have to pay an additional 10% commission to the productivity program and then another 10% uh, to the mentor program. So that's 20% total. Yeah, basically you are now at 54% un unless you cap on any of the things that I said, right? 
Um, let me make sure my math is right. So assuming that um, you have not capped with your associated broker and you have not capped with anything, basically, you are basically now at 54% as a new realtor. So your first listing ever, you're gonna be paying like a lot of money to these programs. So once you have completed three transactions in the mentor program, then you don't have to pay that 10%. Um, you automatically graduate from the mentor and the productivity. But as I was told, most people stay in the productivity um, program just because you know the training is helpful. So far, I have found it to be extremely helpful. So on top of all of those commission splits, for each transaction, you have to pay a $150 transaction fee for the broker to basically go over all of everything, make sure everything is correct. So on top of all the commission splits, you still have to pay the transaction fee, which is 150. And that caps as well. Um, once you reach over so many transactions, then it becomes only $50. So really quick, let's just go over an, an example of um, how your fees would go for your first few transactions ever in your real estate career. So I am currently living in California, right? So I would put a picture of a home in California right here, just for example purposes. Let's just say that this home is $599,999, right? In California. Let's say that the commission split for this property between you and the buyer's agent is 2.5%. Your commission split with Keller Williams is 60%, right? And then your royalty fee is 6%. Let's just start off with the first commission. So let's just say that um, you have to pay your broker, right? So that's 20% gone. So now, now you're down to 80%. Now you also have to pay your, you have to pay your mentor and productivity coach, which is 20%. So that goes down to 60%. So not you're now at 60%. So now you have to pay 6% to the Keller Williams royalty program or franchise. So that knocks you down. Before we do the 6% um, royalty fee, your commission split is, let's just say the house that we are selling is $599,999 or buying. Um, and so if you times that by the commission split between you and the buyer's agent, that's 2.5%. That is $15,000 that is basically what you will get, which is your half of that transaction. Now we deduct 54% of your commission, which would include the um, your 80% minus the 20% for the productivity and mentor program, minus the 6% for the Keller Williams loyalty, or sorry, royalty franchise, um, and then your $150 transaction fee. So, the total commission on that transaction comes to $7,950, okay? So that would be your total. So out of that 15,000, you would come up to $7,950. And that is a lot of money taken out, but if you think about it, shoot, it's money that you don't have, you know? Let's just say for me, honestly, I have another job. So if I were to sell a house and I got that $7,950, I would be ecstatic. Like for my my first listing, like I really wouldn't mind. We wouldn't mind because I need the training and it's money that I didn't have. Plus I got my regular checks coming in, right? So I can't be too mad. Plus I can graduate out of the productivity program eventually. So for me, like honestly, I don't see myself uh, closing on a house my first month. I've only been in the game for two weeks. So if I didn't have a listing or um, a buyer's agreement, I'm literally just paying the $75 a month. Um, but other than that, if I do get a listing or a buyer's agent, or I'm sorry, not a buyer's agent, a buyer's agreement, then I mean, yeah, I'll have to, you know, pay. Well, I don't technically have to pay out of pocket, but it comes out of my commission. So I don't see anything wrong with that. I just feel like, you know, it's additional money for now. But eventually, once I'm in the game longer, like I'm pretty sure it'll matter. But for now, I'm just grateful for the opportunity. I'm just grateful that I'm here because, um, you know, that 
real estate exam was really, really hard. So I was able to pass it and here I am. And I also have, I still have a job. So um, I personally would just like to use this time to get as much training as I can. Um, I do have three leads, but nothing has happened. Nobody is pre-approved yet. Um, I don't have an appointment. I haven't seen them. It's just three leads. I have their contact information and that's it. So, and that's as far as I got. And I think that's pretty good for my first two weeks. But yeah, you guys, I just wanted to create a video just explaining the commissions for my office. Um, I know Keller Williams, a lot of majority, I wanna say, of Keller Williams offices, they do charge a lot of commission split fees. So just be beware of that. Um, I don't, as a an agent that's been in the game for a minute, I don't think Keller Williams is for you. But there are some agents in my office that have been there for like four or five years. So I guess it really just depends on you. Um, do I see myself staying with Keller Williams forever? I honestly don't think so. Um, after a while, um, I think I might join another brokerage, but who knows? As of right now, I'm pretty content, I'm happy. And um, let's just see how it goes. Um, I don't know, like it can't be all that bad because let's just say I am in a game for like four years. What happens if I, you know, I'm already graduated from the mentor and productivity program, so I don't have to pay that. Um, let's just say, okay, I have to pay the broker associate and then the uh, Keller Williams royalty franchise fee. So that is 26%. Um, that's not bad. So I, I don't know, who knows? Like I might stay, who knows? It really just depends on the office and this environment and the people that I work with. Um, but other than that, I am pretty happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have created like so many videos today, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments box below. Also, if this is your first time here, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is yourrealtor underscore Brianna. I'll also put it right here. I'll also put all of my contact information in the description box below as well. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.